He's wearing yellow, trimmed in green, and weighed in at 10 stone, 13 pounds, 6 ounces. Coming to us from Salerno, Italy, he brings a professional record consisting of 12 wins, 4 defeats, 2 draws, 6 of his 12 wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dario Italian Trouble Sochi. His opponent across the ring in this 10 round championship contest. He's fighting out of the blue corner. He comes to the ring with black and gold and weighed in at 10 stone, 13 pounds, 12 ounces. Hailing from Darlington County, Durham, England, he is undefeated with 12 wins. One draw, nine of his 12 wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Trojan Troy Williamson. Troy. Well, come on, it's a cold break. You take one step back. Don't let any punches go on the back of the head, and you protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck, lads. Two solidly built super welterweights, these. Troy Williamson absolutely ripped in the black shorts, predominantly black shorts, slightly the taller man, and with the associated reach advantage, never been beaten from Darlington. Sochi, Italian, now based in Berlin and well acquainted with fighting on the road, and the fact that Williamson has got a few fans here in the arena who've made their way down from Darlington. He will be completely non-phased by that. What is he with Sochi though? He throws that left hand from the waist, but it comes back to the waist. That's something that maybe Williamson needs to do. Just sneak that front foot a little bit close. Slip to the right and throw that right hand over the top of that bit of a lazy jab there from Sochi. Right hand over the top from Williamson, didn't miss by too much. He's won his last four fights by stoppage, the Englishman. Well uh, educated as an amateur, part of the GB squad in years gone by, been a pro since 2016 now, with the 12 wins to his name. Early evidence of the power that he can produce. Good jab there for him as well. As Sochi went to come forward again, he just just leveled them up a little bit with that left hand. Just got to make sure he slides that left foot in. When he does throw that right hand, Williamson, make sure he slides that left foot a little bit closer to the target so he can get full power on that shot. Sochi looks like he got a little bit of an awkward style, but also he's very open. Throws a fair few wide shots, and Williamson will have already picked up on that. And he does look physically the more robust Trojan, as his nickname is. Again, that big right hand only just whistling past the chin of Sochi, which was uh, an inviting target. And also, what, what was better there from Williamson is that he was moving his head, and when he started moving his head, he got a bit more rhythm to his work. His little body started to move, and got a little bit lower, I think that's a better start for him, especially when he's going to be coming forward. 28 years old, Williamson, he'll be a man in a hurry. Some good talent in the UK at this weight right now. The announcement recently that Kel Brook's going to be returning, he's, I guess, top of the pile. Just as you were talking there, Sochi got through a little decent left hook of his own. Sochi. He's uh, 
His last three fights have been victories and they've all come not only inside the distance but inside three rounds. Interesting opening round but Williamson taking it. So second round, and uh, Williamson, well, for me, clearly getting that first round in the back. Yeah, and he looked nicely relaxed, he, and he, he was putting the pressure there on Sochi. I just think he's got to keep that head moving, because, again, he just got clipped with the left hook of his own. British champion, Scott Fitzgerald, Commonwealth champion, Jay Matkoff. They may all be targets for, both be targets for Williamson before too long. And uh, Shiraz also. Yeah. at this weight, who looked very decent in his last outing. As well as it being a good weight, there's a lot of youngsters coming through as well, young guys who sure. on the ascenders, and that makes it a real interesting weight domestically. His head rocked back by a right uppercut there. Yeah. Some, but again, no real, no real power in it, and uh, referee Steve Gray just uh, telling him off for use of the elbow, illegal of course. Almost put another one in. Yeah, yeah the shoulder there that time, wasn't it? From Williamson. See, again, he go back to moving that head and he gets a little bit lower there. That's better from him. Just do those movements, sliding forward from Williamson. That's nice. Nice little one, two. with his partner up in Darlington, Troy. No kids as yet, but he says he's got about 27 nephews and nieces. Big family, and he says he can he can borrow them and then give them back. <laughs> got through a couple of right hands here, Williamson. This is what he should be doing, putting the pressure on. A little bit more guile in the world, maybe, but putting the pressure on. I just thought for most of this round, he's given such a little bit too much respect. Italian corner getting excited by the fact that he has clipped Williamson with a few headshots, but the power looks as though it's with the Englishman. Those body shots may be starting to take it out, but he clips him again with another right hand, Sochi. Oh, good left hook there from Williamson, nice little roll into the shot. But again, again, he just stands over a tall Williamson when he's close to the target and stops moving that head, switches off. Sochi has never been stopped in a boxing match. Also tried his hand at MMA. A few years back, turned pro back in 2012, fought in the USA to start with. I said he'd been on the road, he really has been around. He pushes his punches out though, Sochi. Oh, good right hand there from Williamson. Took it well though, Sochi, but he, he don't really throw proper shots, Sochi. He just sort of pushes his hands through. Those two good. right hands. Just got a little blink of recognition for Williams, though, nevertheless, in the closing seconds. So third round of this ten-rounder for the vacant IBF European Super Welterweight title, and on Barry's card, Troy Williamson in the predominantly black shorts, the Trojan from Darlington, a couple of rounds up. But the second round was a lot closer than the first, for me anyway. Yeah, and I just, I think if Sochi puts a bit more weight on those punches, a little bit more snap and a little bit more speed in the work, then maybe, you know, maybe that round might have been his, because he probably landed with more shots, but I thought the quality was, it was more in, on Williams' favour. That's a lovely left uppercut and a straight jab there from Williamson. Okay, nice little right hand there from Sochi as Williamson went through the body shot but dropped that left hand and had to take a right hand. Had some success with that right to the head of Sochi. But he's being forced onto the back foot now. Nodding at Williamson as much as to invite him on. The referee's just saying, let's get on with it and no pushing. 
Sochi is more than prepared to go toe to toe with Williams. So I'm uh, surprised about that. I hadn't anticipated that, but he's doing so, or at least trying to. But even though he's having bits of success, see how he just pushes his punches out, there's nothing really on him even there. You know, it's not real no real technique to it to really make it a, a shot that Williamson's going to be worried about yet. His best bet is when he catches Williamson throwing. Williamson wore his last opponent down. Ben Douglas beat him in Leeds back in October and took him out ultimately in seven rounds. Only one world title as far as my research uh, shows has come from Darlington in the past. Stewie Hall. Wow. Good shout there, John. Nice right hand. Good fighter and a good bloke, Stewie Hall. Yes. Oh, lovely, lovely right up the there from Williamson. Picking his shots well in this round here. Glenn McCrory, of course, a world champion from up in the northeast as well. Not too many others. I'm not sure there have been any others. No, I think that Glenn was the first one, I think, from the northeast. Good shot there from Sochi. Lovely, lovely. The, the movement before the shot was more impressive for me from Williamson. The little roll underneath, coming back with a left hook. Sochi's showing a good chin, though. He's not been able to break him down yet. He's landing with good shots, Williamson, and he must have to be working him over, but Sochi's showing him a bit of resilience, isn't he? He is, but he's needing to, and a bit of reddening around the nose of Sochi now, a bit of blood there. Very, very competitive round. Into the fourth round, Troy Williamson from Darlington ahead on our cards, but Sochi showing himself to be tough. Oh, some Italian judges watching on here. Were it to go the distance, not suggesting that they'd favour their countrymen, of course. See, see, just again, if he brings that left foot a little bit closer when he throws the jab, after he throws that left hand, that right hand will punch it through the right through the target. Almost did it there, Williamson. I like to see him when he does throw a little combination, it's just a pivot on the front foot, just get a different angle. When he def obviously defensively is good, and he can attack again, some of safe space, and also Sochi got to turn with him, and then gives him a bigger gap to, to land. Nice body shot from Sochi, followed by the right hand. Another decent hook. Italian coming on, a little bit stronger here in this round, putting a big effort in right now. Oh, nice uppercut there from Sochi, it's good work. Another good body shot. Maybe he does push his punches out a little, but he certainly found the target with plenty of it. Oh, that's a good right hand from Williamson, and again. And a good left hook there. Just making Sochi stand a little bit tall there with that left hook for the first time. Seeing a little bit of an effect. He's having trouble with the gum shield as well, isn't he, Sochi? Sochi's had four defeats in his 19 fights. As I said, he's never been stopped, and now a little bit of time out while he does have the gum shield replaced. He's got, a, got, got the other the spare gum shield there, maybe that's a better fit. Been a hard round, this. 
Well, Sochi was having a better, you know, the first minute, but I think first minute and a half, maybe. I think Williamson might have come on a little bit there in the second half. Well, winning this belt for whoever does so, of course, will propel that man up the IBF rankings. Shot, good right hand there from Williamson, and again. Oh, it caught him there. Good shot from Williamson, lovely left hook, but again, no movement from Sochi. Oh, what a hard round that was, both of them landing some real quality shots. Cornerman a little bit slow to get out of the ring and Steve Gray hurrying them along and so we move into the fifth Good body work there from Williamson Very incredible Sochi he takes a he takes a heavy shot not loads, there's not a lot of loser snap in the work of Williamson, but they're heavy shots and always looking to fire back. Again, the big effort coming in from Sochi, who was on the receiving end in the closing stages of the fourth. Good body shot from Williamson. So Levy right hand, little step to the side there, but he threw it, Williamson. Good work. Shield again. And again, it's a replacement. So I think you might be uh, doing them on a, a rotor system in the corner. <laughs> nice left hook there from Williamson. Good right hand, though, back from Sochi. It's a good shot. Oh, good work. Right hand, left hand from Sochi. This time, Williamson's chin being proven. Turning into a hard fight this time. Only in the fifth round of ten. It's a busy, it's a busy fight. Yeah, a non-stop shot. Both have the work hard. That's good from Sochi. Let me right hand. Doing well at times in this round. Nice work there yeah, from Williamson. Nice little injection of pace. You have to take a left hook and a right hand there of Sochi. Unsurprisingly, Williamson's work rate yeah. has dropped a little in this round, and it might be Sochi's best round of the fight so far. And Sochi's not pushing him back with, with, with strength, he's pushing him back with sheer effort of, of just you know, non stop throwing shots. And then Resilience said he can take a good shot and walk forward. Well, best fight, best round for Sochi by a distance for me, this fifth, as we come up towards the bell. And the question is, has he taken that one? Halfway stage then, Williamson ahead on Barry's card by four rounds to one. But the Trojan losing the last round and he'll want to show in this, I'm sure, that it's not a changing of the tide. 
Well, Williams has he has to stay busy. I think that I think we found that out with Sochi. If he has a good, you know, if he can second half of the fight, the engine stays and his legs stay fresh, he's going to be increasingly busy, take the shots, keep walking forward. So Williams just has to fire the shots out. That's where that pivot and the footwork come into play, moving around the target without really running away and giving too much ground. Williamson just being told by the referee, watch, letting your punches go low. And the one there, a left hand again, was a little bit low from Williamson. Two there for Williamson. Bravely though, Sochi tries to respond from the taking a full-on right hand by coming forward, and for I think the third time, the gun shield coming out, and he's having a word with him. Just a little bit of a suspicion from the referee that he's doing it deliberately to buy a bit of time when he's under pressure. I think it's all fitting. I think he's having trouble from the start with it, and but that's that's you no. Know, it's all on him. That's nice there from Williamson. A bit of rhythm there. Got a little bit of bounce to his step there. So he threw the combination, took a little bounce out, and then he had enough strength and legs to come back and finish it off. Shot again. Sochi putting his hands down, inviting him to come in as much as to say, you've hit me several times pretty flush, but there's nothing on him. And now suggesting that he's been headbutted, and now it comes out again. Oh, and he's cut. Oh. He's cut, and he's saying, no, and he's taken a point as way away as well. For the gum shield coming out repetitively and saying that he's doing it deliberately. Well, whether he is or not, the fact that it keeps coming out, you know, and, and it's just one of those things you have to take the point. Looked as though it was a clash of heads which caused the cut. I'm sure Sochi would say that the clash of heads caused him to lose the mouthpiece, the gum shield. Possibly, but either way, that's that's a. For me, a 10-8 round here for Williamson. Yep, that's the way it's going to be on the judges' cards, I'm sure. But the biggest problem here for Sochi is the gum shield. Got to keep that in his mouth first, follows, and start picking up some rounds. Well, he needs to be very much the dominant force in the closing stages of this fight now, because that point deduction, I think Williams was already safely ahead anyway, but that really does put him a long way clear, at least the way we're seeing it. Well, uh, and also, what, what was quite evident for me in that, in that last round was Sochi wasn't as active as he has been previously. Good work there from Williamson. Doubling up on the jab and a little bit of showboating now as well from Williamson. He knows that he's in control. Oh, good left hook. Oh, 
Good shot. shot. Yeah, Solid it. right hand. I wonder if the referee is going to start taking a look at Sochi before too long. As his head is being rocked around a little bit too much for some people's comfort. Still inviting Williamson in. He's still is, John, bravely coming forward. He's not showing any signs of wilting, so how could you, you, you possibly stop it? I, you couldn't. He's still firing back, he's still, still trying to be competitive, so you've got to let it carry on. But the world race slowed down a little bit here from Sochi, and that, that may be a worry. Makes him an easier target to hit. He wasn't the hardest man to find anyway. But what he was doing quite well was firing back every time Williamson had any sort of uh, success. Not so much now, though. Hit him in two gloves at the same time there, Williamson. Got a bit of rhythm to his work here, mind. The Darlington man. Told by his corner, he perhaps heard Craig Carney shouting out to Williamson, get back on the job. Good shot, he's boxing well. Big round this is turning out to be for oh. Williamson and their apes, Billy Joe Saunders, as that one goes whistling past. Billy Joe Saunders would have more money if he, had, if he had trademarked that little move there than he do for fighting. He could make a fortune, wouldn't he? Ah, oh, oh. out comes the gum shield yet again. He's already had one point taken. Oh. Another word from the referee. He's on thin ice. That's interesting. I thought he had to take a point if he, if he already had. Oh, it's lovely there from Williamson. It's good work and that's a little roll. And again, the gum shield out with that right hand there from Williamson. And he's starting to take a bit of a hiding now, Sochi. Well, right hand, though. Bravely. But that was a big, big round for Troy Williamson. Got the gash on the left eyebrow, Dario Sochi, and also cut on the left eyelid he really is in a little bit of a mess now good right hander there from Sochi straight out the gate but if he has any oh good shot from Williamson if he has anything left here Sochi this is this is the wrong for me and he really has to push on try and stem the flow of rhythm here from Williams has got a nice little rhythm to his work now you take that off him take that momentum off him Big effort now from Sochi, as you predicted, Barry. Williamson sticking his tongue out, suggesting that's doing nothing. I'll tell you what I did notice, and it's not so much evident for this fight, but for the heavyweight fight, I'll loose those ropes out. Going to have a quick, quick word with Mick Goodall, see if they need timing up. Oh, it's lovely if you want to see that from Williams there, leading with that right uppercut. Yeah, the referee had a little look then. Of Sachi. Sachi, I should say. Yeah, stopped, in his, stopped in his tracks there. With the big effort in the opening minutes. See, Sachi's technique is quite poor. What he is, what he looks like to me, is just some guy who just is just fearless. Like, like literally, just they dragged him off the street and said, "I'll fight anyway." He looks like that sort of. It's a real tough man who, who almost does it for the love of a fight than he does for the money. Straight down the target there, and you saw that land smack on the damaged left eye. That's all Williamson with the more. Persuasive punches in this round. Gum Shields gone again there with the uppercut from Williamson. Okay, right. Put the Gum Shield in, he's going. What's he going to do with this? <laughs> and he's gone to his corner and had another one put in, and he's showing to the referee, I've got one, I've got one. But it's another point away. <laughs> he 
You hear that? Do it again, you're out. One more time, you're out. The sad thing is, and, and you know, the referee has to do that, of course he does, but I don't think it's intentional. I think it genuinely just ill-fitted. He's had a great second half to the fight here, Williamson, for me. Boxed really well. Maybe just that moment, he could have worked the body a little bit more. I think there's been some gaps there for that left hook underneath the elbow. It's a great right hand, though. Again, though, Sochi took it, didn't he, and still keeps coming. How many more is he going to be? How many more is oh. he going to absorb? <laughs> <laughs> Referee's having a very close look at him, but allowing him to continue. Well, it'll be a 10-8 round for Joy Williamson. Whatever, Williamson is in front surely now by a mile. Only way he loses this is if, by some quirk of fate, he winds up being stopped. Good uppercut there from Sochi. But I, I don't think Sochi's shown any so anything like that power to, to worry Williamson. And that might have been maybe in the early stages where Williamson was getting tagged quite frequently. Oof. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, dipping our legs, coming back to that left hook. He gets so much more leverage on the shot and so much more success when he just comes in a little bit lower, Williamson. Gumshield almost came out again there, and you might have seen Sochi pushing it back in. He'll come out once more, that would be it. Already been deducted two points for that. Oh. I'm going to get to turn the hand over there. Oh, it's a lovely body shot from Williamson. Can't miss him, can he? No. And again, Sochi's piling forward, but they're all just nothing on the shots. Nice. You can make a fortune, Sotch, you ought to be an aspiring partner. You really could, you know, you're so durable. So durable, so tough. Come and do ten rounds, yeah, no problem. Same again tomorrow? Yeah, if you like. But he's taken it, especially in the second half of this fight. He's taken an absolute hammering. He's taken too much, Barry, for my way of thinking. I know you said he keeps coming forward, keeps throwing punches, and I respect that, but the cumulative effect of all oh. these headshots, it is not good to see. As you said it, John, he just, he just dipped his legs here with that left hook, right hand. Williamson still thinks he can take him out of there. A good shot there from Williamson. Referee's looking closely again, but somehow Sochi manages to fire back with that left uppercut. Well, you wonder about whether or not the corner should be thinking about pulling Sochi out, because there's no way he wins this, and he's just taking a pounding. <laughs> oh, shot. Big right hand again from Williamson, right on the bell. Ringside is spattered with the blood of the game. Italian 
that Troy Williamson looks as though he's heading for victory as we move into the final round. Oh, good shot, That's, oh, that might be it. I think a sustained attack here up on Williamson, that might be enough. Well, remember this fella's never been stopped, he'll have the pride to get through to the final bell. I say, say something about Williamson, what, how good of an engine has he shown? Because this, you know, this guy made him work really hard, especially early in the fight. First four or five, but some of those early rounds were quite close. I mean, he really did push him, didn't he? he? Was, I, I don't think they were close. I think he was pushing him, but, but I think they were always going to be Williams rounds for me, Williamson rounds for me. But he, Williamson, and about, it wasn't sort of round five. It looked like he was just maybe getting a bit tired round five, six. And, and for me, you know, he, he's got that second win, and I think he's been flying the last few rounds. go looking for a British title belt or possibly the Commonwealth title before too long Troy Williamson and maybe ambitions to go beyond that as well and the referee having a very close look again at the damaged eye trying to oh, think that if he was going to take him out as a result of that he should have done already surely he'll see him through to the final bell now oh. Shot right hand, left hand down goes Sochi quickly back up, almost too quickly. He's having a look at the referee and he does look clear eyed, but the referee says no, it's all over. And for the first time in his career, this game Italian has been stopped. And Troy Williamson getting the stoppage he craved in that final round. And he was very, very strong in the second half of the fight. And you could say, well-merited, well-deserved. Oh, I think he boxed fantastic. I think especially those last sort of three or four rounds, I think the rhythm and the strength and, and, the, and the energy Williamson's had in his work, against a guy who was predictably in front of you, didn't have loads of power, but a guy who really worked so hard, especially in those early rounds, to make it as uncomfortable as possible for Williamson. I thought he boxed fantastic. And I think the it was a great call for the referee, because that left hook was not only a great shot, but the way he fell, you could see fatigue, and that's where the, that's where the troubles lie. So I do see fatigue in, that, in the way he fell. Well, let's see again how the end came. Right hand, left hand, both on the head. The left was right on the boat. Shot. Bang, he was down. And would you go along with what I'd said there, though, Barry, as we watch that again, that maybe the corner should have got him out of that? Well, they could have, but you could say the referee should have. And, you know, but either way, it is what it is. And, and for Williamson... I thought, I thought he showed so much more to his game now at championship level that, that for me, he, he, he sort of arrived there now and, and he'll, be, he'll be very competitive in that, in that domestic mix. No, he didn't want to stop, <laughs> but the referee said, you've had enough, and it was celebration time for Troy Williamson.